I mean, I, yeah. I, I heard you talk about, you know, like less is more and the importance of less is more. Um, mm -hmm. But how, how did you approach that in, in a real life situation where, let's say, whoever, like Sly came with you with a track, like here's an idea. Yeah. How did you, you know, how did you take that mentality and actually apply it? Um, it's a mindset. So you don't have to, it's, it's, it's kind of like an unconscious effort. It's just there. It's your, it's your mindset. You're, you're looking for that to exist, meaning that you have to always be open to where, you know, some of the greatest stuff are the spaces between the notes. Hmm. Well, they set up what happens. Mm -hmm. And without that space, well, what happens kind of goes by and it's maybe less significant. But if you, if, if all of a sudden there's silence, Uh, just unconsciously, a listener, you know, like, what? There's nothing. What's going to happen? And yeah, then yeah, all yeah. this thing happens. You go, oh shit! Yes. <laughs> like, why you get chill bumps? You know. Mm. So um, yeah, the spaces and, or the, the silence, and the, the rests in between notes are just as important as the notes, if not more. Sometimes mm. you know, they could be very effective. Yeah, definitely. Sly and I used to talk about. You know, in a group, you know, you, you just you, you, you go to funny places like just with humor and just boredom and or creativity mm. and everything in between. And you talk about funny things. So we used to talk about uh, what if there was, you know, you had some manuscript paper, you know, some you're writing music on mm. and it's all black. And then you get a, an eraser. And you turn it around, I mean, you get a pencil and you turn it around to the eraser and you start creating spaces. Mm. And st instead of getting a blank piece of paper, st you start out with and you start writing down, you know, your stuff. You approach it from the other way. And it's a cool, it's a good exercise, mm -hmm. good perspective to have, you know, Definitely. if you're writing. Just to have that thought, oh, yeah. It yeah. kind of goes the, you know, the spaces between the notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's really, yeah, that's, that's a great analogy, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I mean, this might be a, a bad, not a bad reference, but, you know, thinking about less is more because I know you started playing drums when you were like 14 and you joined, I mean, you joined Sly and those guys 17, 18. Is that also, yeah. I mean, yeah, first of all, how, how, how in three years were you able to, you know, do some kick ass, you know, join a kick ass a band, you know, I mean, <laughs> what, what did you practice or? What didn't you practice? I, is a better I, question. Just, I, I love drums from little, from when I was you know a little kid, mm. I, and I used to just look on the weekends. I'd get catalogs and look at the magazines. That, you know, the music stores were selling drums, and I, I used to I used to go down on the weekend to downtown in San Francisco to the music stores and just hang out all day and you know mess with all this stuff, <laughs> drums, keyboards, whatever, and. Uh, But I wasn't able to actually get a set and start playing. Um, uh, I, I suppose I could have took lessons and, you know, got a practice pad. And because my folks didn't want to, they, they weren't supporting the drum set around the house. Right, right. Because <laughs> of the upheaval that probably, yeah, yeah could create. <clears throat> so that didn't happen until I had got a little, little job and I saved some money and I got my own drum set and then, you know I started to come of age you know and I said I'm going to do this you know what I mean but um, I was never interested in in in, in um, just you know taking l l lessons and, and and sitting on a pad and doing rudiments and stuff right. I wanted to play music I was mm -hmm. music turned me on the drums turned me on the look of them the sound of them the feel of you know feeling when you're when you're playing them mm -hmm. so that's how it went down and uh she, believe me i don't know it's just right place right time um i at first i started playing i was, I was practicing with records like you know um, uh, ray charles and um big band buddy rich i'd listen to i'd listen to um Take five, you know, and you know stuff, and and, and all the time signatures, and, and I play long stuff and practice with it. So about when I was um, 16, I had met Freddie, his like brother, and we we started a group. Mm -hmm. so I had a radio show at that time. Uh, it was a DJ, 
<laughs> a great, very creative radio show. Mm. Very, where you play R and B, soul music. It was called then R and B. Right. And um, but we had a group for about a year, and then uh, and then that kind of morphed into, you know, when we started the Family Stone. Mm. Sly kind of had handpicked. He had tried a couple of different things on putting a group together that he wasn't pleased with, and so he had kind of handpicked everybody in this. Just they, he hadn't told me. Freddie hadn't told me that they were planning on doing. You know, he was talking to his brother. We were planning on put something together, right, right. and showed up one night for rehearsal with the Stone Souls, the group that Freddie and I had, and uh, everybody showed up from from the band that night for the first time, met each other for the first time, and. That's when it happened, you know. Hmm. It's kind of like unbeknownst <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and mean, that worked, you know. But do, do you think because you did it in such a short time, so to speak, that that made you having to force in the important things, which is, again, going back to the less is more, like maybe you didn't have the, the enough time to become that flashy drummer because you, you there was such a short time from starting out to actually making music? Do you think that has anything to do with it? or? or no, it's just kind of like, uh, you know, in those days, I mean, first of all, we didn't we didn't follow any path. Right. Hopping anything that, it, I mean, other than, you know, in, things that influence, are obviously, you're in, you know, you, you, you take them and you own them. But, I mean, that group from the, in, from the outset was, was, unique and different and kind of like an experiment of, you know, and a challenge too, you know? Hmm. So, um, I mean, you know, if it was flashy or if it was whatever it was, hmm. these were unconscious things that were just as a result of, you know, the combination of elements that were coming together. Right. Right. Whether it be conscious or unconscious, hmm. I believe, because, you know, uh, I mean, even, even you figure, well, geez, I'm going to put a group together and, and, and Sly is on a, he's on the radio. So we got access to the radio and, you know, right, he's right. a producer and he had already had produced some hit records with other artists and mm. stuff like that. Oh, this is just a no brainer. No, it's not a no brainer. It's not, it's not a given. And actually there were a lot of challenges and a lot of people, we didn't have a lot of support uh, with there's people saying, Oh yeah, this is cool. And it was more like, well, you know, you, you mix in, you know, you mix in male and female, and just all the, you know, black and white, and mm. added where there was like racial things going on in the country, and you know, you're making these statements that are way outside the box. This ain't gonna fly, you know. Right, right, right. yeah. I'm, I'm summarizing that in a big way, but you know what I mean. In other words, there was support. Mm. We had a few small handful of fans that dug what we we're doing, and that's it. Um, but. The music, you know, once the music came together and, and that's what makes, that's what made the statement that we were making right. uh, valid hmm. because it spoke for itself. Mm -hmm. You know, it was really different. It excited us. You know, we're, we're fans of ourselves too because we're, we're doing something that's challenging. But when we get together, it feels good. It's comfortable. And it's just undeniable. You don't, you know, you know. It's just like you, you kind of stay out of its way and let it go, and and, and take the challenges on as they come. Mm. And um, it was very cool. It was, it was you know, I, yeah, yeah. You guys created a whole new new genre. I mean, 